Hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario. This video has been requested a bit, so I decided to do it. I'm going to be showing you all how to stream over some media over to your PS3 or Xbox 360 if you have a local area network where everything is hooked up to the same network. Anyways, the first thing you're going to need to do is go into the description and download PS3 Media Server. Yes, I know it's called PS3 Media Server, but trust me, it also works on the Xbox 360. What you want to do is download the latest file, go ahead, run it, hit next, install, and go ahead and let it install. Now once it's installed, you're going to get this right here. You can create a desktop shortcut if you want to. I really don't want that. We can go ahead and run PS3 Media Server, and it's going to come up with something like this. Now you might need to wait for some renderers, and it's only showing WMP for me right now. That is because I don't have any other console on over my local area network. But I'm going to show you what you need to do right here. So first off, what you're going to need to do, you need to come over to Navigation Share Settings, come over and open up this folder with a plus sign on it, and you're going to go ahead and navigate to where the files are that you want to stream over. It works for audio as well, which is cool. I'm just going to be doing videos right here. I just picked my own videos. We're going to go ahead and hit open right there, and we have it set up. So once you do that, normally what you want to do, you can go through the transcoding settings. Normally, I really don't have to go through anything like this. Um, sometimes you're going to have some issues, like for example, if you have a file that has subtitles on it, they might automatically play. Uh, what you can do right here is just check definitely disable subtitles, and anytime you do anything like this, you're going to have to save it, like so. And then I normally recommend restarting the server. That way, you'll have a fresh start. From there, you can go ahead and check for updates, anything like that. You can have it start up minimized. You can have it, I believe there's a setting somewhere where you're able to have it start up on boot. I just decide to not do that. And also, if you have sleep mode enabled on your computer, you might want to check this prevent OS from sleeping while streaming. That's definitely a good thing to do. I personally don't have sleep mode set up on mine, but I'll go ahead and set that up anyways. Now once you have a console set up over your network, as you can see, I now have my Xbox 360 right here. That is because it is on. We're going to go ahead and check it out and I'll show you where to access everything. On the PlayStation 3, it's pretty easy. It's just straight through the XMB. And what you can do is you could actually select a feature to search for media centers right on there if it doesn't find it automatically. But if it does find it automatically, which it normally does, it's easy enough. However, on the 360, it's a little bit hidden, so I'm gonna to have to show you what to do. One more thing also, if you add any new files to any of these folders, and you want to watch them, you're going to have to restart your server, and then it will just quickly reboot it. If you're watching a video or something, it's gonna disconnect and reconnect, so you'll have to restart it, but any new files that have been updated will show up on your console. So we'll go ahead and head over to our 360, and I'll show you where to go. All right, once you're on your Xbox, we're gonna be demonstrating on here, you need to go to your video applications, and from here you need to select your system video player. On here, it should bring up a media server. As you can see, mine is right there. You can pick your folder, and then from there, pick whatever file you want to. So we'll go ahead and play this, but it's as easy as that. Within less than five minutes, you have everything set up. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario, signing off. Thanks for watching, everyone.